Okay, getting ready to drop into the arc. I'm gonna try to go a little further downstream than I normally start, but water's at about 700 CFS, so maybe half of what it was the last time I fished up here. It's pretty good flow level. Gives you a lot of the river to fish. You can still wade in some spots across the river. Uh, so it kind of gives you a lot of options, but should be fun. Sun's just coming up. Kind of waited a little bit, hoping to get a little bit of warmth. Got down to maybe like 40 last night. So waiting for a little bit of warmth, partially for me, hopefully for the fish and bugs too. But uh, should be fun. Okay, we're starting Chevy Pat's Iron Lotus. Pretty common theme throughout the year. Uh, flipped a couple rocks and uh, saw some stones. So Pat should still be in play. And it's a little later in the season than I would really expect to keep seeing stones, but we had so much water this year that I think the, the, uh, the bug populations and the hatches and stuff have been a little delayed. Like salmon flies came off way later than normal, I would say. On like the Colorado and even when we were on the Gunnison last year when Stephen and Savannah went up the Gunnison, they uh, missed the salmons by like a week. Whereas this year, when we went there, you know, this time in July, we were catching the salmons. And same thing in the on the Colorado. I, I think we're seeing a little different hatch cycle because of all the rain and snow we had this year, which is awesome. I mean, it's great for great for fishing, especially in the fall as things start to cool down. There's a little, you know, 10, 11 inch brownie to start the day. But yeah, so we've been seeing. I feel like stones and bigger bugs later. It's supposed to be a good drake year too. I haven't really got on a good drake day. Maybe on the arc. Sometimes you get the it's the drakes in the afternoon here. So we'll see how that goes later this evening and stuff. It also gets really windy through this corridor. So maybe we don't see any drakes. But hey, we're on the board. Try to keep them in this upper pool. There we go. Little rainbow warrior eater. That's a skinny boy. Not a 13, but super skinny. Super skinny fish. Hey, we'll take it. Been a little bit of a lull. I remember the last time we fished through here though. This not the easiest section. Not that the arc's always easy, but this spot here, a lot of moving up and around over rocks and fishing these little, these little sections here. Fun though, been a fun morning. There he is. All right, Keenan on the rainbow. Two of those on the bow. Oh. Little brown guy. Nice. Well, there's the first set of consistency. I think mean, this is a pretty sweet spot, but two in a row on the same fly, that's that's something. It's pretty slow water. Hopefully. 
we'll see. Bugs are starting to come off. Starting to see a few little tiny bugs come off. That's gonna do it. Caught a few fish, some skinny browns, nothing really of size, but little section there in the hatch came off in the morning, had some decent luck and really can't be getting out. It's just perfect out right now. It's supposed to be, I think high of 80 today. And right now it's just about as good as it gets. Light coat on, morning's really nice. Really love it up here. Really love spending time up here and can't wait to get up here every time we get. It's just so much fun. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you on the next one.